Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you messages about love. We're taking a look at love today. This is love of all kinds. Love of family, friends, soulmate, twin flame, new person, old person, and some of you, this could be love of your career. So we're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. And of course, if it's actually love, then that would be the Venus in Gemini as well. And what I'm picking up right off the bat for you guys is, hold on, I'm coming. So some of you might be talking to somebody. We're going to look at your side and the other person. You may be speaking to somebody that you're getting ready to meet. We do have the a, a king of swords that flew out. Aww. And we have the King of Swords and we have the Knight of Cups that flew out. So the King of Swords can represent the energy of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's about that mental uh, part of us, right? The mind, connecting to the internet, communication. Um, and when we are seeing the King of Swords, this could be an Aquarian that you're dealing with. This is on your end, or you're just really embracing more of your authentic you, kind of being in your own true element. But with this Knight of Cups, this could be somebody that came in and they danced you around, but not necessarily came through with a full-fledged offer. They might have come in very noble and gallant and said, hey, I love you, and then boop, got on their horse and ran away. Because with this, you know, the, the Knight of Cups, it can be... Um, an apology coming in, an offer of love, and the night is uh, better than a page. But it's also that dreamy state of energy where a person can talk, oh, you and I are gonna travel, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, right? But they don't actually take action. So they could have come in being very authentic or you believe that, but I get this feeling that they left. Now, if this is a family member, then absolutely you're going to know if this is for you. We do also have the energy of cups, which would be, be Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Hmm. Hold on, I'm coming. This is them coming in noble, or you might even be dreaming about it. You might be seeing it in your dreams where you see them coming in because we do have the Princess of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a beautiful apology coming in. This is an offer coming in. This is an opportunity with this Princess of Pentacles. This is a very grounded, now it can take a long time to come in. You may have been waiting a long time to hear this apology, to hear this news, or to reestablish with this uh, uh, apology coming in, the foundation of your relationship, the foundation of your family unit. And some of you, again, this is all about your pentacles. This is about an opportunity coming in that not only is gonna bring you emotional satisfaction, but it's also gonna bring you money and it's gonna make you feel very, very grounded. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if we're looking at the zodiac sign, but it's the energy of earth, the energy of being grounded, a feeling connected to where you live underneath the ground. Maybe you made this move and this new opportunity is getting ready to come in um, because this is hold on. I'm coming. This is somebody you want to talk to. This is somebody you want this foundation and they do too with these the lower end of the cards coming out they do also right so we have imagination so when we use our imagination we can really make things happen and again for some of you this is somebody you're seeing in your dream so you may have not actually met this person but you're dreaming about them. You're seeing this man or woman in your dreams coming in with this, hold on, I'm coming. It's like the one, you know they're on the way. Mm, I like this, Gemini, I really do, because this is a very romantic energy coming in. And it's gonna be something that I feel for a lot of you, you've been waiting a long time for a relationship 
to have this solid grounding to it. Maybe they're coming in with their own pentacles, right? So you're not picking up the tab on someone else this time. <laughs> I know it. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like they come in with a, I had a, a, a past partner. They came in with one box and one garbage bag full of stuff. And that was it. I was like, oh my God. So we never know, right? But this person is more grounded. This person is somebody that means a lot to you for sure. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Page of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is this beautiful teamwork, okay? You and them creating the partnership, creating the bonding, right? Being on the same page. And in uh, a work situation, it's about being a team player, being brought on to be part of this. This is an offer coming in, an opportunity. So Gemini, if this is about your career, <clears throat> put your beautiful Gemini air energy in and pull in some of that heart. Open up your heart, okay? You can close it back off when you're done. <laughs> you gotta open your heart up in an unconditional way but that means you have eyes in the back of your head as well, so you don't get stabbed in the back along the way. But when we open up our imagination, all of these things start coming in, okay? Now, some of you, this is a soulmate relationship, I guarantee uh, that's what this is, and I don't know why I'm pulling your romance card right now, but I am. <laughs> so, express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gestures, whoever this person is that's coming in, because this is the past, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups. This is a beautiful opportunity, or you thought it was. This is somebody that made you open up your heart just enough to feel vulnerable. And you do believe that this is somebody that with the, the, the partnership, Coming together, if they open up, it's going to be good. This is a lovely relationship. The page of uh, Princess of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. This is about love, the Prince of Pentacles. Some of you, this is a family being reunited. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. This is a marriage, a commitment, a reuniting of a relationship with possibly adult children, children involved somehow. But for a lot of you, I feel you might even be getting a little bit, um, you're going to get an expression of love. Hold on, I'm coming. And they're coming in with the roses. They're coming in with this beautiful you know, I just did Leo, and, and, and although mm, we really don't have the energy of Leo in here, if you're dealing with a Leo, and this sounds like you're reading, check that out, because theirs is about a grand gesture coming in, and I feel it's kind of coincides. The way this person is going to come in is going to be very captivating, is going to pull on your heartstrings, okay? Hold on, I'm coming, I'm going to pull on those heartstrings. So I love, love, love this. Now, if you like me, you like my style, please subscribe to the channel and click like. And for those of you interested, you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. Awesome. You got Isaiah, all right? Your guidance message is Isaiah. And it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and bring them into fruition. So if this is about your career, you get that thinking cap on and bring this into fruition. Pull it down and put it into reality because this is your time. This is your time to move into a new organization. A new offer is going to come in that is going to make you just really love what you do. It could be baby steps in this particular situation, but it's all about your imagination. And when it comes to this romance, Express your love and do it in a very, um, it does, I don't mean flowery way, authentic to you, Gemini, because you're not really a, a flowery kind of person, right? Air signs aren't really ooey gooey on the outside. But express your love and by doing that, when this person comes in, you have an opportunity for something brand new that's going to be absolutely amazing that could lead to marriage, partnership, 
And for those of you where you feel, you're gonna feel like you've known this person forever. But it's very important for you to communicate how you feel, no matter what level this is, the opportunity coming in is all about you expressing how you're, you're feeling in this situation. So have an amazing week. Thank you for watching and much love.